Hello, my dear children. How are you? Hope all of you are doing very good. Today, in this video, we will learn about the classification of adverbs. Previously, we already had learned about the definition of adverb with some example. So let's start. Grammar Roots, chapter number 15. And our today's topic name is adverbs. So first, before going to learn about the, adver the classification of adverbs, I will take a quick revision of adverbs. What is the adverb with some example? What is adverbs? Words that tells us how an action is done are called adverbs. That means in English, there are some word which tells us or which describes us that how an action is done in the sentence. And those word is called or those words are known as adverbs. Like in this example, the boy is crying loudly. Here in this sentence, which one is the action word? Yes, crying is the action word. So if we ask a question on this action word crying like that, how is the boy crying? How is the boy crying? So answer will be loudly. Answer will be loudly. That's why the word loudly is a adverb. Here, the word loudly tells us about how the action is done. There are some other examples also, like children read the story quickly. Here, this sentence, in this sentence, the read is a verb. Read is verb. Now, if I ask a question on the verb on this word verb uh, like how do the children read the story i will get the answer like quickly so that means the children read the story quickly so here the word quickly is an adverb as the word quickly is describing how the children read story. How do the children read the story? So that's why the word quickly is an adverb. The example number two, my elder sister writes lazily. Here in this sentence also, writes is a adverb. Writes is an adverb. So here, if I ask a question like, how does my elder sister write? I will get the answer like lazily. So the word lazily is an adverb. The lazily is an adverb. So the words like lazily, quickly, loudly, those all are adverb in English grammar because these words are describing how the action is done in the sentences. Okay, now let's the classification of adverb. In the classification of adverb, the first classification is adverb of times. Adverbs of time. That means in English, there are some word which describes when the action is done. Okay, when the action is done and the answer we get, those words are known as adverb of time. Like in the first example, I will play a tennis match today. Here in this sentence, the verb is play. So now if I put a question on this verb like how will I, when will I play a tennis match? When will I play a tennis match? 
I will get the answer as today. Okay. When will I play a tennis match? Today. I will play a tennis match today. So the word today, the word today is the adverbs of time. Okay. Now let's check with the example number four. I shall visit my aunt soon. Now in this sentence, the verb is visit. Okay. The verb is visit. So if I ask a question on this verb, word visit, like when shall I visit my aunt? The answer will be soon. Yes, so the word soon is an adverb and it is called adverb of time because this adverb is describing when the action is done. Okay, it's describing about the time. So that's why here you can see some words are written in a bold like today, tomorrow, now, soon, often, then, before. Those words are adverbs and these are known as adverbs of time because these words are describing about the time when the action is done. Okay, now I will move towards the next classification and the next classification is adverbs of place adverb of place that means in english there are some word which describes about where the action is done where the action is done those word refers about the places Okay, so let's check with an example. Number one, the principal stood here while delivering his speech. The sentence is, the principal stood here while delivering his speech. In this sentence, which one is the verb? Yes, stood is verb. Now, if I ask a question on this verb stood like this, where did the principal stand while delivering his speech? The answer will come as here. Answer will come as here. So, he, the word here is describing where the action is done where principal stood okay so that's why the word here is a adverb and it is known as adverbs of place okay number and we will check with the other example also number three do not go near the fire do not go near the fire in this sentence, which word is the which word is the verb? The word go is verb. Now, if I ask where we where do we not to go? Answer will come near the fire. Near the fire. So here the word near is the adverb. Then, so, and this word near is describing about the place. So, it is known as adverb of place. Here, you can see some words are bold. Okay, like here, there, near, above, below, outside, up, down. Those all words are 
adverbs and those are known as adverbs of place as these words refer to refer about the places where the action is done okay now i will move to the third classification and that is adverb of manner adverb of manner in the adverb of manner means in english there are some words which um, describes how the action is done or in which way the action is done and those those words are known as adverb of manner now let's check with an example the first one the old man slept soundly okay now here in this sentence which one is the verb the word slept is a verb now if i ask a question how did the old man sleep i will get the answer is soundly i will get the answer is soundly so the word soundly is a adverb of manner that means how the action is done so it is describing the word soundly is describing how did the old man sleep that's why the word soundly is a adverb of manner now here some words are written in um bold like soundly seriously badly bravely swiftly slowly easily all the all these words are known as adverbs of manner okay my dear children hope these three classification you can understand and uh, the concept is clear now so uh, before ending my this video i want to do a small recap about the uh, adverb and adverb the classification of uh, adverb okay what is the adverb adverb means uh, the word that describes how the action is done in the sentence okay and adverb has three classification adverb of time adverbs of place adverbs of manner okay and uh, what is the adverb of times uh, if we ask a question on the verb with uh, the word when and the answer what we will get that is called adverb of time okay that means the word uh, which describes about the time when the action is done that is called adverbs of time and the adverb what is the adverb of place uh the words which describes about the place okay where the action is done that is known as adverb of place and the third one is adverb of manner that means the word that describes how the action is done and those words are known as adverbs of manner so my dear children today we learn about the three classification of adverb that is adverb of time adverbs of place adverb of manner hope the concept of adverb the classification of adverbs now clear to all of you now here i am going to end my today's class have a nice day take care